Scenes from season six, episode three, were shot here in historic downtown Hampton. The iconic scene when they first walk into town, they come this way and you see the view of the city this way. But you can see that gas station, you can see that mural, you can see the city block. And guests might recognize more than just streets and storefronts. Guides have all played walkers on the show. And get this, special guest Beth Keener, Annie on The Walking Dead, recently tagged along. Sadly, her death scene was here in Hampton, so it was a lot of fun to, for her to be here. And she even, she's such an absolutely wonderful person. She got down on the ground and was reenacting scenes with the guests. At the time, I needed a job. <laughs> but then as we got into it, it's like it's more than a job. We show the kids a lot of love probably that they don't get at home. You know what I mean? So it became more than just a job. You start to see, you start to care a lot more. So it's, 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 it's deeper than just bus yard. The reason why, why we be trying to go to these schools, though, for real, to um, perform, once we get all the kids together in the auditorium and they hear our songs about bus safety, bullying, graduating, now we got them all on the same page. So when a teacher go to the class, you know, they know they just heard a song about bullying. You know, we got them into it. So we just create the conversation. Hip-hop educational music for our youth. That's what we call it. Because hip-hop is big, you know what I mean? So, but there's no education to it. So we just decided just to switch it up real quick, get some education with something that you can also, I mean, bop your head to. <laughs> and it worked. When I started in the factory, if you weren't making enough money in this factory, there was, a, there was a, a company upstairs that paid you 10 cent more, and everybody would just go from one place to the other because you was making more money. In the building where I worked in, Alfred Angelo made them wedding gowns. They were in there. Then you had McGregor's used to make sweaters. 74 was when it began to change because uh, when the uh, Fair Trade Act came through and the bosses found, the companies found out that they could get stuff made in the third world countries. If we were making three or four hundred dollars a week, then when they calculated it from Guatemala, Costa Rica, people were making it for, for 10 cents a day or two cents a day because it, it, it was cheap. So the, then what they did, they took all of this stuff and they sent it to the third world countries. Here in Dawsonville, thrill seekers can choose from a two hour or one day stunt driving experience or a full scale multi day stunt driving school. But the experience is for someone who wants to come out and have a good time and see if that's something they want to pursue, something they want to get into, and then we'll have the, the full three day school after that. That means anyone of legal age with a valid driver's license can pair up with a pro and do something like this. Reverse 180 and three, two, one. Thank <laughs> you.